move on to today's story from something you forgot along the way. So today's story is number 43, page 117. Rewarding the unfilial son, an approach to good and bad. A samurai was on a journey. His retainer fell behind, so he paused to wait for him. At last, the retainer came rushing up out of breath. What were you doing? asked the samurai. My straw sandals broke, so I was fixing them. Who gave you the straw? No one. I took it from some rice plants laid out to dry by the side of the road. Did you ask permission first? No, said the returner. Nobody would care about a stalk or two of rice straw. Everybody does it anyway. You fool, said the samurai. I won't put up with such an attitude. Everyone else may allow it, but I will not. Go back and ask the owner's pardon. The samurai well knew that those two excuses, everyone does it, and it's so small it doesn't matter, are always on the devil's tongue. Lord Tokugawa Mitsukuni, 1628-1700, was on a tour of inspection. A local man known for abusing his mother heard that the Lord would reward anyone who demonstrated uncommon filial respect. Eager to receive a prize, he hoisted his aged mother on his back and joined the parade to welcome the distinguished visitor. Mitsukuni caught sight of the man carrying his mother and ordered an attendant to reward him. Surely you don't mean it, sir, said the attendant. The fellow is known for the atrocious way he treats his mother most of the time. He is only here today with her on his back to try to fool you into giving him something. Mitsukuni listened thoughtfully and then said, what difference does it make? Even if he's only making a small gesture, and even if it's only for today, that's all right. The important thing is, at least this one time, he has accorded her proper respect. Give him a rich reward. He who comes in contact with red dye is stained red. We are shaped by the people who surround us. He who, he who associates with good people will find himself becoming good. Do good even if it is only an act of imitation. Yeah, this is a, a very thought-provoking story and for some people it's a little bit controversial. But actually, it's teaching us uh, how everybody is changing all the time, for better or for worse, depending on the people we associate with. Like it said, uh, he who comes in contact with red ink is stained red. So we take the color of uh, the place we are in, the people we hang out with. We easily get influenced. We are shaped by the people who surround us. If we understand that, um, yeah, that there is always, first of all, room for improvement and there is potential for happiness for everyone. No one is left out. No one is excluded from the compassion of the Buddha. Because in this way, people are being given opportunities to do self-improvement, little by little, little by little. So in the second example, you know, the adult son who was abusive towards his own mother Maybe everybody would give up on him and they're like, oh, he's good for nothing. You know, people give names and labels and all this kind of derision and, and kind of fix the fate or destiny of that person in this way. In their own eyes, they think he, he has no chance. But it takes a compassionate teacher, a compassionate lord or mayor or a neighbor, a compassionate parent or sibling to give them a chance and let them realize that life is much better when we are kind to other people. Let them experience it for themselves. 
And uh, yeah, so it says do good even if it's only an act of imitation. Because people we don't like or some kind of difficult people at work or at home, it's difficult to be kind to them. But if you be kind to them, even if you don't really mean it, you have to kind of force yourself to do it, it will bring you and everyone around you a lot of happiness because good causes will always bring good effects. Now, if we purify our intention and mean it even more, we will get even more good results, more happiness for everyone involved. So it's a matter of intentions and uh, going forward, even with a small uh, karma of the mind, it will add up and pick up momentum. So good job, everyone, for being here. Today's Monday. We're going to have the Right Wheel Lab at 8 p.m. And have a beautiful start of your week. Bye-bye. Thank you.